Thanks for joining me in this new series, Work Out With Me. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'd love to respond to your comments. Hi everybody, it's Roberta with Happy on the Home Front. It is Saturday, February 9th. And I'm going to be starting a new segment of my YouTube channel. And it's going to be about my return to working out and trying to get in better shape and be healthier and feel better and lose some weight. Um, so here I am. It's about 5.30 at night. I've just eaten a low-carb um, breakfast wrap. Um, bed my family for dinner. And so I'm coming down here to get a sort of a, a mild um, lower impact workout because as you can see, I'm still wearing my knee brace. My knee is giving me a lot of trouble. It's because of my weight. It's because I stand constantly. Um, I have a really hard time sitting down to do anything. So anyway, excuses, excuses. But um, <clears throat> whenever my weight goes up, my knees start giving me problems. These are uh, workout shorts from, I'm pretty sure they're from the company called Woman Within. And they're a size 1820. I'm just going to be really honest with you. They're a size 1820. Um, I did not grow up overweight. I grew up very thin. Um, my weight started getting out of control. Um in my mid, early to mid 30s, I'm now, I'm just like a month or so away from being 45. Um, um, I was diagnosed with depression and I was on lots of medication and that medication didn't help. And also I would eat to feel better, eat, eat for a pick me up mentally. Um, and then with, um, with my two children, I, um, I have also, um, develop the habit of eating for energy and eating to stay awake. So, and then I also am sleep deprived. So all of that's just working together in this horrible cycle. And anyway, so holding anything in, I'm trying to see if I can, um, get you the, the full profile kids. Here it is. I currently weigh, I don't know the exact number, I'll update this video, but I currently weigh at least 200 pounds. When my daughter Ada was born, I weighed 220 pounds when she was born by C-section. So, it's the most I've ever weighed in my entire life. <clears throat> I have weighed half that amount before. So, anyway, I am 5'3 three and 3 fourths inches, so 5'3.75 five inches. I'm not very tall. Um, but anyway, so, um, you can see that we have a home gym. We're very, very blessed with a home gym. My favorite things to do are aerobics on the step or on the floor, the treadmill. I love to run. I haven't been able to do that much lately. And, uh, my new bike. I love my new bike because it's easy on my feet. Um, also when my weight gets really high, my feet start to hurt. So anyway, so come along with me on this journey. Um, I have not measured any of my um, body parts yet, um, but just know that they're big. Um, they're real big. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, um, so I'm going to get this party started, and my knee is still sore. It's less swollen than it was a few weeks ago. If you, if you watched my first couple of videos on my channel, um, it is better than it was. Um, so I'm hoping to do more of a low impact workout on my bike tonight and um, lower my typical resistance and see if tomorrow my knee is still okay because my knee won't hurt while I'm on the bike. It will hurt after I have um, rested during the night and then I get up the next morning and it's stiff and painful. So, all right, y'all, here we go. Do this with me. We can do it, y'all. We can do it. One step at a time. It took me a while to get this size with babies and sleep and food and medicine and everything else. And I know it's going to take some time to get it off and I want to do it in a healthy way. So let's do this together, y'all. We can do it. God's grace, y'all. He's good. He's good. Let's do it. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It's Roberta, happy on the home front. I'm still 
um, downstairs on the same day. I'm just continuing this segment, and I forgot in the first part to turn my phone sideways. I'm really sorry. Okay, so here I am. Um, you can see me. I'm on the bike. Okay, I got my knee brace on. I'm, I'm sitting on my supported bike. Okay, you may be out walking. You may be walking on the treadmill. You may be doing some steps in your living room or somewhere in your house. That's great. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep moving. Let's encourage each other. Um, so this is my recumbent bike. You know, just meaning that you're seated. You're like almost... Um, not actually reclined, but you're seated, you're not standing, so it's a lot less pressure on my feet um, and those joints <clears throat> in my knees and hips. So that's really been a blessing. Um, the time lapse is, you know, you can see what that is, like two and a half minutes. I did some minutes before I started the other first part of the video, but then <laughs> those canceled out when I took too long to resume um, cycling. So um, I really like for my RPMs to be in the mid 60s or close to 70. Um, and I like for my resistance to be up around a 7 or an 8. And that way, when I get off the bike, I'm soaking wet. I've burned a couple of hundred calories and my heart's pumping blood. I'm feeling very energized. Um, but with this lovely um, swollen knee, which I have done to myself, um, you know, being heavy and standing, um, <sighs> I'm not going to be able to do, um, the resistance that I want to tonight, um, because the last time I did that when my knee was not quite healed, um, the next morning I got up and my knee was very painful and very swollen, <sighs> Um, and then that set me back, you know, a couple of weeks. So I'm going to try to be smart and sort of baby my knee a little bit and just use this time to get back in the habit of working out and taking care of myself. And I'm going to vlog for you guys. That's a video log. And I'm just going to encourage you to get started. Um, I don't have on fancy um, workout clothes. I have on a basic pair of workout shorts. Um, I have on some good tennis shoes because I do believe in wearing good shoes for your body, especially if you're like me and you're very heavy, um, because it's just better for your joints. Um, <clears throat> I left a messy kitchen. I left laundry undone. My daughter's up there. Uh, my husband is, is, um, taking care of her. I got to go up and get her bath going, but I have got to start making my health a priority. And no one's going to do it but me. So, here I am. <sighs> and I am barely doing anything, but I'm out of breath talking because I have so much fat sitting on my organs. And when I sit down like this, um, my C-section scar is right under here. And then there's this big blob of fat that's left from uh, my pregnancy, and it sits right there. And so when I'm and then, then when I'm seated, <sighs> my body pushes. I starts to push all that fat up, and I just feel like it's just sitting on my chest. So um, I'm not in horrible shape as far as cardiovascular wise. I love to exercise. I love to move. I love to be busy. Um, so, but with all this fat, whew, whew, no wonder I'm out of breath. So, um, I'm just, I'm just being real here, y'all. This is it. As <sighs> you can see, I'm sleepy. I stay up too late. I've got to change that as well. Um, <sighs> but anyway, one day at a time, y'all. Right? Um, so anyway, come along with me. Let me know in the comments if you're joining in. Um, I'm currently going to be uh, watching <clears throat> some stuff on this screen. I love this bike for this reason. It's um, it's uh, called Matrix. Right now, that's all I know about it offhand. Um, there's, you know, stuff all over the place about it. But um, I love that because it has a screen. 
and it connects to our um, wireless internet and I can watch Netflix. <sighs> you can also watch YouTube. So for me, I have to keep my brain busy when I'm working out um, or I start to think about how much time is left, how much time have I done, um, what I need to be doing, um, what I have got, I mean, just on and on and on. So I like psych myself out. So the best thing for me is to keep my mind busy with music or with screens or both. So tell me what you like to do when you work out and let's get this party started. Okay, let's do it together. Let's support each other and let's stay in touch. All right, y'all, I'm going to increase my RPMs a little bit <clears throat> and I'm going to stop talking. So hopefully I can burn a few more calories. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned. Okay, everybody. Whew, I'm back again. I'm still plugging away on the on the uh, bike. Um, let's see. It's been almost 28 minutes. I did do a, a couple, two or three before I started the video. Um, I've got my resistance up to three, so not even 50% of what I normally do. Um, I am nice and warm from this um, exercise um, so far so good with my knee I don't feel anything um, and, and I don't know that I would with this support on so <clears throat> that was my stomach <sighs> okay so um, <sighs> you know just one workout at a time one day at a time I'm sorry for all the yawning I don't know what it is about being on this camera, it makes me want to yawn, but it does. Um, I wanted to show you something else that um, really is um, something I'm looking forward to being different, looking forward to changing, is um, my C-section fat does sit, you know, right on top of my legs when I try to bend over or squat or do anything like that with my children or with cleaning or picking up my dog or anything and like right now my the top of my leg my quadri quadricep is touching the fat hanging from my belly so um <laughs> that is really uncomfortable when I'm trying to get down in the floor and play with Ada and do stuff like that um so I'm really looking forward to that being different so leave me a comment let's encourage each other if you're working out on YouTube too or if you're working out anywhere leave me a comment and we'll connect and support each other thanks for watching everybody keep an eye out for my next video work out with me part two I hope you'll join me and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much.